Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about F-Profiler. F-Profiler is an add-on which a lot of you have heard of, and if you're watching this video, someone probably told you to install it to try and help find which add-on is causing some lag or something similar to that. So I'm going to run through how to install F-Profiler and more importantly how to use it because a lot of people install it and they use it either incorrectly or they just freeze because they don't know what they're actually looking at. Um, so it's all pretty straightforward um, really, but let me just explain it to you guys pretty quickly. So first thing you want to do is actually install it obviously. So uh, this link will be in the description, but if you just search F-Profiler on Google, it should be the first result to show up. This one right here. Um, and to download it, you simply click this clone or download button here, download zip. And at this point, it's like any normal add-on you install. So you just download it wherever you want it to go. Um, and then, so I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, and then you add it to your server, like a normal add-on. So uh, this is our server for this example. Um, so a lot of people will be using like FileZilla and stuff like that to upload it. With this, I'm using a local server. So yeah, you just have to kind of imagine that you're uploading it through FileZilla. But otherwise, it's it's exactly the same. You really just have to copy step by step here. So you obviously extract it once you've uploaded it. Um, and then, you know, you have all these this stuff. I'm gonna actually should rename it. But you should avoid using capitals and add-on names anyway. Um, so now you've installed it, you're pretty much ready to go. So let me just boot uh, my server up and get Gary's mod ready. All right, so my server should be up any second now. Cool. All right, so if you're First things first, actually, I should probably explain there are, there are two types of, of real lag. Um, you'll have client lag and server lag. So you've got to understand, and it's surprising how many people don't understand this, um, the server is separate to the client. Your FPS is rendered on your client. So as I'm running around here, I've got, you can see my FPS is, you know, down here, it's, you know, shooting around from 100 to 200. In the top left, you can see it's averaging at about 190. Um, so this is entirely being rendered on my client. So you could have any server. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter, any server, and I would be getting the same FPS. The FPS on your client is absolutely nothing to do with the FPS that you, um, with your server specs or server performance. Um, the only thing that I think people confuse it with is if you add add-ons, so say you add an add-on which is like a HUD, um, that HUD can, take FPS to obviously render it. Um, so you, you can have add-ons which slow down your FPS, but it won't um, be a direct result of your server, so your server specs. So if your server is running on the latest and greatest hardware, or it's running on the worst thing you can possibly buy, you, players will still be getting the same FPS and you can't fix that upgrading your server, unfortunately. So. That's one thing you've got to understand. So when you um, install F-Profiler, you launch it by going into console and just typing F-Profiler. Now, if this option here is grayed out for you, that's because F-Profiler can't detect that you're a super admin. You need to be super admin to be able to access this server part here, which is pretty important for what we're about to explain today. So if, if you haven't got that shown up, install something like ULX or something like that, and then you'll be able to access this server part too. Uh, if your issue is primarily with like FPS, you won't need that section anyway. So, you know, you might you might not need that. Um, so once you open it up, uh, you literally just smack this button here. Um, depending on obviously which kind of performance you're trying to target. So um, with the first example, we'll just stick to client side, right? So realm client, you smack that button and leave it running for a bit. It really doesn't matter um, how long you leave it running, just give it like a little bit of time, I'd, I'd say like 10, 20 seconds really is all it needs. Um, but if the lag you're experiencing is say, you know, once every 30 seconds, or it's when you look at a specific thing and it lags your game so hard you can't open the menu and stuff while you're looking at it, you can turn that on, you know, go and ca cause what's affecting your FPS. Um, and then when you've kind of lagged your game you can stop it and you can start looking at what what's been going on um, so this is where a lot of people start to get confused so I'm gonna break down it's really quite simple I'm gonna break down these categories and uh, kind of what you want to look for 
and what you're not looking for. So I've only got three add-ons installed in this server. Um, so uh, right here you can see pack um, on my game. Uh, so you can see obviously which add-on you're, you're looking at here. So this is the base game of Gary's Mortar, if it's Lua slash includes or anything like that. This is all base game stuff for the most part. The only, your add-ons will start with add-ons slash and then this stuff. So, you know, just because something shows in this, obviously, that doesn't mean that it's a problem. Um, a lot of people think that everything in this list needs to be removed. No, um, you really just want to be looking for add-ons and primarily add-ons which are higher up on this list. So the two real, cat, the three real categories we're going to be looking at here is the amount of times called total time inclusive and average time inclusive. So um, essentially, uh, each of these uh, rows that you click on here, um, it will show you the code here that's actually been run on the right hand side, but most of the, pe most of the people watching this video won't be able to understand that. Um, but imagine this as a virtual button, and uh, each time there's a number here, uh, sorry, there's a number here in a, an amount of times called, that button has been pressed. Um, so yeah, just think of it like a virtual button, I guess. Um, and these, this, this total time uh, in MS, that's how much time was spent in total running what this button has to do. So, you know, this this one's quite this code is very basic. It just does four lines of code, but you know, it might be a lot longer for you. But essentially, uh, you can see right here the total time that that took and the entire time that I had this thing running before I clicked the stop button. It took up about 1.1 seconds. This is in microseconds. So, you know, that's not too bad. That's probably one of the worst things in the base game, but uh, it's not too bad. And then average time is is different, obviously, once again, to the total time, and that's how long on average each call took. So um, you might have a, a pretty low average time, but you could have a very high total time. And that would indicate that when this button is pushed pushed most of the time it isn't taking too much time but occasionally it does take up a lot of time so if you if, if your total time really doesn't make sense with your average time and you know it's some huge discrepancies there that might be an indicator that that add-ons are troublesome add-on but to really kind of easily find which add-ons are really causing the big issues i would initially start by sorting it by this column here um this column is what it's automatically sorted by, which is also very handy, but I personally just think that this is a, normally when I've been doing it, it shows the things you're really looking for more. Um, so yeah, you just sort it by this, this column by clicking on it, and then you just kind of scroll down slowly and look for any add-ons. You guys will probably get a lot more stuff, obviously. You'll have a lot of add-ons installed. As this is really just an empty server, nothing is gonna really show up for me here other than just base game stuff, which is really fine. Um, but yeah, just kind of go down this list. And uh, so for example here, F profile has found itself. Um, and if you notice things really high up on this list and we're talking like quite significantly higher numbers than the ones generated by these things, which are default in the game, they're things which you want to look at um, and they're probably causing issues with players FPS. Um, but that isn't just a, a complete fix all solution. You also, after that, want to sort it by this column here, uh, the total time column. Um, and once again, you really just do the same. You kind of go down looking at which add ons are showing up higher on this list and add ons which are showing up high on both this list and the first list when we sort it by average time. Those add ons are probably really your heaviest add ons. Um, but another thing to kind of keep in mind is this amount of times called. If that is literally one, for example, right here is, is, is one which does which was only called once. Um, you can see that the average time and total time are exactly the same because obviously it was only called once. Um, so you know it's only the average is the same as the one time it ran. Um, so here you can really start to drill down. So if you've got one add-on which has just been called once here and this number is very high then you've got a problem. Um, if, however, you've got an add-on which has an extremely high amount of times called, um, that could also be a problem. That could also be normal. It's, it's, it, there's never a one answer for this stuff. It, you can only generalize, and really the best way to work out 
uh, which add-ons are causing the really big issues in your server is to kind of use a tool like fprofiler to get an idea of which add-ons are probably causing the issues by really sorting it by these two columns while looking at the amount of times called column. Um, and if the amount of times called, you know, it looks about right for that number, comparing it to the rest of the things in this list, um, then it's maybe worth trying to disable that add-on and just try the server without that add-on. Um, and obviously, if that doesn't fix your issue, issue that wasn't the add-on that you were really looking for, and look for another add-on which shows up higher in this list. Um, another thing to keep in mind, though, is that there could be multiple add-ons which collectively cause your issues. So you could you could have, say, all your players are getting really bad FPS. They're getting like 10, 20 FPS. You know, that isn't necessarily caused by just one add-on. That could be caused by 5, 10, 20 add-ons. Like a lot of people have a lot of add-ons installed. Um, so it really can be caused by a lot. Um, so you really want to start by focusing on these, these really higher up and heavier add-ons. Um, and then you just uh, start kind of moving down until the FPS is in a position which you're more comfortable with. You don't need to uninstall the add-ons. You can obviously try and fix the performance issues in them. But if you're watching this video, chances are you don't have the skills required to do that. So you can either post a job on somewhere like Gmod Store, or you could just remove the add-on and maybe look for a one that does a similar thing but doesn't cause the issue you're looking for. Now, if your issue isn't with FPS and it's with really bad server performance, um, then this is for the, that part. So um, a really good way to tell if you're really having server performance is with the net graph, which I actually have one. You can see it in my bottom corner here. If you want to open it up on yours, just like net underscore graph and then five afterwards. Four is the highest it actually goes. I don't know why. I just tell people to type five. But um, yeah, once you've got that in, uh, you can really kind of start breaking down this graph. So um, one really good way to understand this graph is another link that I'll stick in the description. Uh, let me quickly bring it up. Uh, is this TF2 wiki uh, and it kind of breaks down all the parts of the graph and you can um, really get a good idea of uh, exactly what's going on. So um, this is pretty much the same graph you see in Gmod uh, and they kind of just break it down but uh, for you guys right now I'll quickly just run through it one, one kind of brief time. Um, so if you notice these kinds of breakups in uh, this, this top layer here then you're really probably experiencing a server-side performance issue. Um, it's it's indicating that there's some network issue going on. Um, the server isn't sending as much information as it should be sending. And typically, when you get these breakups, you will you might get red spikes below in this part here. And if you're getting a lot of these. Uh, and also you can see spikes kind of here as well on this really bottom line with this blue backdrop. Um, if you're getting these spikes, you know, and these kind of gaps here primarily, that really kind of indicates that there's some performance issue on the server unless your own game is really, really laggy and struggling to handle the, uh, the uh, amount of stuff it's trying to be asked to do. Um, this really bottom um, row here, this is... Uh, like packet loss primarily I believe um, I could be wrong there so check the wiki afterwards but uh, I'm pretty sure that this section is packet loss yeah so this could also indicate that the server's lagging um, it's it's not as reliable from experience typically it's good for like packet loss um, and, and it's alright to have a little bit of activity you can see how I've got some on my graph uh, very very small kind of drops uh, this is on a local server so you know it doesn't really get much better than this when it comes to uh, packet loss and it's normal to have a, a little bit of packet loss um, so that's that's it's not necessarily a huge issue but if you are sure you have a performance issue you open up a profiler switch this realm over to server start profiling and you know the exact same thing as when you're on the client you you do whatever it was that you things causing at least the most lag um, or if your server is just laggy then just leave it for a few seconds and then stop it when you feel comfortable and it will do all the fancy math stuff and um, it's, a, it's a rinse and repeat really is the same way as the client one you I start by sorting this row scrolling down and looking for add-ons which might be uh, slowing the server down um, so here for example you can actually see an add-on I've got um, this is uh, the admin what I'm using so you can see here, 
Uh, so this this is completely fine, like performance wise, um, but it's a it's a pretty good idea of what you're looking for. Um, and here you can see F profile again. I believe F profile was pretty high up as well. Look, and um, you you'll just want to kind of go through the same way. Uh, look at the total times inclusive. I find that average time is a little bit more re more accurate. If you're looking at total time, you really have to start taking into account the amount of times called. Um, and also what the code's doing. Um, if like the code, you know, it's been called like two times and the total time was like five seconds, that might be acceptable for what it's doing. And, you know, it might be doing something that does actually take a bit of time and it, it might not be like causing a lot of lag while it's waiting. Um, so yeah, your best kind of experimenting, trying to disable uh, add-ons and then seeing how it affects and doing it one by one at a time. Don't do it in massive bulks, maybe two at a time if you're really kind of trying to look for some results quickly to try and at least stop people complaining and make your server stable. But try to do it in as few sets as you can to really make sure you know exactly which add-on was causing the issue. There is this second section here, which I never really use, which is the 50 most expensive function calls. Um, and here you can really kind of work out exactly uh, which functions are the most expensive when they're called. So you can see that this uh, this tick widgets thing, and this is in the base game. This is this is the most expensive function when it's called. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty normal. So I wouldn't, you know, things like that I wouldn't worry about. Obviously, though, once again, as with the client, you could have 10 add-ons which are collectively causing your lag issue, and it might not necessarily be one. So you might start this profiler, and there are no really excessively high numbers, um, and you just uh, and you just look at it and it looks all normal. It, it, it's probably the fact that you've just got a sheer amount of add-ons at that point. All of them are collectively adding up, and they're all causing this slowdown you're uh, getting. So... That's um, really kind of the, the quick rundown, basic way to utilize FProfiler to try and leverage um, better performance out of your server um, and potentially clients by finding and removing troublesome add-ons. Um, hopefully you find this uh, useful. Uh, if you did, make sure to drop a like. And uh, other than that, have a good day. If there are any other tutorials you want us to make, just let us know in the comments below. And uh, have a nice day, guys.